Sam Blakelock here from PickupJazz.com and today I'm going to rant about how to warm up. So guitar or music is like a sport in a lot of ways and the most important way that music is like sport is that you got to warm up. You can't just get out there and uh, run up a hill. It probably pays to stretch a little bit, you know, do a little jog and the same thing, uh, the same concept applies to music. So. I'm going to run you through what I do every morning to warm up. This takes about a 20 minute process. I'm going to kind of condense it down, talk you through what I do, uh, why I do it, and, uh, and give you some suggestions for you to figure out your own practice routine. Alright, so the first thing you need to do uh, when you're warming up is make sure you're in tune. So I tuned up before. These strings are a bit old, so it's not going to sound the best. but. Uh Make sure you're in tune. Make sure you're sounding good. Your amp is good if you're using an amp. Whatever it takes to uh, feel good on your instrument. Uh, it's kind of like if you get into a really nice car or, or you get a really nice uh, road bike which is, just feels like everything is well oiled. It makes you want to get on that bike and go for a bike ride for four hours, you know? It's really important that your instrument feels good, so you should look after your instrument, make sure it's set up pretty good. It's worth investing a guy to set it up if you don't know how to do it yourself. It's worth getting an amplifier or a pick or whatever it takes to kind of, you know, just feel good. You pick up your instrument and... The second thing I would do, I'd use a strap, of course, uh, have a good uh, body position, don't slouch, and then uh, get stuck into the warm up. So, first thing I would do would be to grab a metronome. Metronomes come in all shapes and sizes. I would set it to uh, 40, slower. You should check out my uh, video on time if you want to hear why I do it uh, at slow tempos. And then I do this little exercise um, to kind of uh, focus my mind. And then we'll go back down, and then I will perhaps do something like this. And different subdivisions of the metronome. Uh, and the things I'm focusing on right now is uh, having a good sound. It's got to feel good. You can't practice with bad sound or bad time because that's how you're going to perform. So I'm kind of... My right hand I'm trying to pick lightly. My left hand playing lightly as well. A little bit of vibrato. Good hand position. Good back position. Just very focused. Um, and just kind of relaxing into the practice session. Second thing, I want to warm up my left hand uh, in this little exercise I do. So what I'm doing there is playing like and the reason why I'm doing that is I'm just getting my hand used to this motion here because uh, how I used to play would be hammering into the guitar uh, which is not a good way to play because it hinders you it's hard to play fast when you're kind of hammering into it it's about being light and pulling off and this kind of warms up my muscles uh, and gets them used to that motion uh, that I'm used to uh, if you're interested in technique I'll make a whole video on that but uh, this, is, this is kind of my technique here light and uh, pulling back the next thing I would do is a, is a pretty intense left hand workout. Uh, check it out. I'm playing octaves from the low E about up to the G or the G sharp up here. down and then I'll perhaps change up the subdivisions so two three one two 
make sure I'm in time, of course. Now the next thing I would do would be to get the metronome and put it uh, at a very quick tempo. Um, this is going to be anywhere from 160 to 180 beats per minute. And I'm going to feel this as beats 2 and 4 of the bar. that's pretty uncomfortable it's a pretty challenging thing to do and that's why I do it because here's the thing about warming up and see I'm gonna take off my cap and put it around when you're practicing don't practice what you're good at practice what you're bad at don't practice what you're good at practice what you're bad at what you're bad at because that's how you get better way quicker I could practice this um, and feel really good about myself I sound great, but that's not the point of practicing. The point of practicing is warming up and then finding the thing that you're absolutely the worst at and just jumping it in. So that wraps up my warm-up video uh, to uh, conclude. First of all, make sure you're in tune. I'm not really that in tune today, so there you go. Uh, secondly, make sure you sound good, you feel good, your instrument feels good, your amplifier sounds good, whatever it takes to pick up your instrument and want to take uh, it for a five hour bike ride. Third thing would be spend a little time, two minutes or whatever it takes to kind of just focus and relax into the moment, kind of let go of what's been happening in the day and just get into that, uh, you know, that calm and focused mind. The final thing would be to find your biggest weakness as a musician and work on that, uh, whether that be uh, chords, licks, lines, scales. Everyone has individual things that they need to work on, um, but really the main takeaway for this, I hope for you, is that um, self-awareness of what you need to work on um, the most. Figure that out uh, and just every morning or whenever you can, just go jump at it and you're going to improve real quick and it's going to be great. So thank you for watching my video on how to warm up a plain jazz guitar. It's been a bit of a rant, a bit of a long winding road, but I hope there's been a few points for you to take away. Thanks for checking it out and I'll see you on pickupjazz.com. Mm -hmm.